I am willing to share in the mission of this congregation and proclaim the gospel through the words, deeds and witness of my life. I, Sister Pia, I, Sister Ruth, I, Sister Jana, I, Sister Anna Tisha, I, Sister Maria Francisca Zuzana Zembova. Vow to you, Holy Triune God, chastity, poverty, and obedience in the mission congregation of the servants of the Holy Spirit, according to its constitutions. I desired to serve the sick or those left alone, and I thought I could do that as a missionary. I longed to go to China or India, but I was unable to leave the country. The first Mother Superior was Sister Virgilia, who had spent some time in the missions. Of Moravian origin, she had had Czechoslovakian citizenship and as such could act as the congregation's representative before the civil authorities. The first activity of the sisters was to make and embroider church vestments and church linen for the whole of Slovakia. The convent of the missionary sisters, servants of the Holy Spirit in Spišský Štiavnik, to be a place where sisters could prepare for their ministry in the missions in healthcare, schools and social services. It was hard to get used to Stiavnik. Well, I'll tell you. You know, I had some fits of depression since I am a southerner. These surroundings, they weighed me down. The mountains, the village in this valley, it all weighed on me. The strict lifestyle, everything. But it all passed. Everybody had to go through it if not at the beginning, then later. And we didn't like them, the black dresses. We looked like such babushkas, grandmothers. And we were all young women. In 1938, I received the habit, and in 1940, I made my first vows. The activities of the sisters soon spread to public life. There was a girls' school run under the auspices of Caritas, an orphanage in Mokrad, later a hospital and an elementary school in Kezmarok. We are in Bichitsa. This used to be a girls' school. 
We had over 80 girls here. These were problem girls, prostitutes. It was not easy for them to give up this lifestyle. I worked in the kitchen and I had girls there as helpers who learned to cook. Sister Milena was the director and she issued apprentice diplomas. The girls learned to sew and then they went to take exams in Zhilina. Each sister had to write an evaluation of each girl's behavior. They were marked and given rewards according to their behavior. They could go to church with the sisters, or go on a trip, or to the Salesians to see a theater performance. We also used to have processions in this park on the feast of Corpus Christi. The girls sang. It was joyful here. And what was behind those lower windows? The girls had their dorms here. On one side there was a dining room, then there was a big hall. When the communists took over, they took all the girls away so that we would not corrupt them. The first and last four sisters went to the missions in 1947. Other sisters could not leave because the government would not grant travel permits. I had wanted to go to the missions, but the communist takeover put an end to everything. So instead of the missions, we were deported to Bohemia to work in a factory. That was on October 12, 1951. In the morning, they called our provincial leader. Something very strange was in the air all day long. We sensed that something bad was going to happen. There was nobody to tell us what was going on. We knew nothing. After supper, we were told we had to leave Ivanka, and we could take only one suitcase and a quilt. We were not allowed to take anything else. Right after the announcement, they cut off the electricity, and we had to pack in candlelight. It was a big shock for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, Blessed are you, Holy Mary, Mother of God. It was not possible to receive Holy Communion twice in one day. We had to wait until after midnight. We did not board the buses because we wanted to receive communion in our chapel. And then we had to march. As we went out through the gate, our sisters, those in the choir, started to sing the mission anthem at the top of their voices. It was powerful. The accompanying undercover agent shouted at us to keep quiet, that we were disturbing the nighttime peace. But what about the way they had disturbed the whole village's peace? Well, after we had finished the song, we marched quietly between the two lines of soldiers. The buses were parked on the road. We got on. The destination was secret. We didn't know anything. We were supposed to enter the novitiate, but we were not given the habit. We had to go back home, so I went to work in administration. 
There were many difficulties, but our Lord gave me the strength to overcome them. It was a bit hard because we didn't know whether we could return to the order or not.